I'm going to show you here how to remove your oil cap. This is where the filter oil filter is. You can use a chain or you can use the actual cap that's supposed to sit over the top. So with the chain, you want to be twisting it anti clockwise. It will work. But you have very little room. I'm going to finish this job off with the cap. See with the cap on, you have a lot more room to over. So I just keep twisting it. Oh, my ratchet's broke, so I have to keep lifting it off. Put it back in again. Push. Way easier. When you're changing the oil in your car, this is the first part you need to do. This could have like a point of um, oil in it. So you want to be taking that out first. See the amount of oil that's there. That's the oil filter out. That's the top of it there. That's my cap. i give you the serial number on the bottom of that, it's uh, 104184068 and this is my new one that being the top, this part will slip into that obviously it goes back in this way here this on top. When you get your new package, you'll get a rubber ring and a copper kind of washer. I don't even know. I don't know what that's for. But the rubber ring. It's for the bottom of this. You can see it there. You can just replace that. On the new one. I'd recommend not using the chain. I recommend buying the cap. But with the cap, just watch. You mightn't have a ratchet set head to fit that. So that's something you have to look out for. Now just to recap here, first remove oil filter from here, remove the cap, so your oil is going to go back in, and take the oil out. Underneath your car, there's that little nut there off to one side. See it right there. That should be a 13. Let's see now in a few minutes. Yeah, it's definitely a number 13 underneath her. You can see it from up here above. Let me put it on it. See there. Now you want to make sure that you have something to catch the oil from underneath when you're letting it out. Obviously, it'll be at least four liters, just over four liters, I'd say. And uh, I'm gonna have to do it in parts so I don't have something big enough. To catch it all at the same time. And yeah, when you're pouring it back in. There it goes. Just keep checking your dipstick and make sure it's 
between the two of these halfway just over halfway it'll be alright but if it's above the max you need to let out more oil and just be careful to keep checking that let the oil settle for a few minutes and then check it and that should be that